Hey everyone, welcome back to Drive Protected. My name is Eric. In today's episode, we got this 2013 Lamborghini Gallardo, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install the rear bumper. It is super, super easy. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so let's get started on the Lamborghini Gallardo rear bumper. So first thing you're gonna notice is this uh, side marker over here it was not cut out. That's fine, we'll trim that out by hand. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the film back and I'm just gonna use my true spray keg and I'm just spraying down the back side of the adhesive as well as the rear bumper. And now I'll also spray down the top of the film that way my squeegee can glide properly. So first place that we're gonna start on the rear bumper is we're gonna start right over, over here at this top corner, but I wanna make sure everything looks lined up properly right by this relief cut right here. So that looks good right there. I'm gonna pull the film back, spray my tack solution behind right there. I'm just gonna quickly Get that in place. Then I'll get my squeegee and lock that down. So that's good, that's done. Our next place that we're gonna go down to is we actually have a sticking spot right there, which with black vehicle, you don't want those. We're gonna come down over here to this bottom corner. We'll get that lined up. That's good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come right over here into this corner by this relief cut. It's perfectly laying down right where it needs to be. So I'm just putting a bit of tack solution behind the film. And we can start to lock that into place. Now I'm just gonna use my thumb to get the film wrapped around that corner. I'm actually going to take and flush this edge out with my hot water tack solution. And I'll just take my squeegee and I'll squeegee that down into place. Okay, that's perfect. So starting point done. We'll get this corner down as well too before we start working our way out to the edge of the bumper. So. the film back so we're gonna flush our slip solution that's out or that's underneath the film we're gonna use our tack solution to kind of flush that out so we can get this film to lay down nice and flat and this wrapped edge over here we'll worry about that later now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over this way and we're gonna start getting the film laid down on the side all right so now I'm gonna pull the film back one more time I'm going to respray the adhesive and the film with slip solution just to get that film gliding around nicely. So as you can see we've got some fingers over here top bottom all the way on the sides there. These are going to be fun to, to deal with but what we're going to do right now is I'm going to spray our tack solution right there and get this lined up. And then we'll come down over here and we have to stretch a little bit to get it to the bottom. And as I stretch, watch what happens to these fingers. They start to disappear and they get a lot smaller. That's exactly what you want. So I'm spraying my tack solution right there. I'm gonna hold that in place just with my fingers. And I'm gonna come back with the squeegee and squeegee that down. That's good. Now, 
I got to deal with this finger up top here, which is going to be fine. It's manageable. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come down a couple inches and start squeegeeing up, creating more fingers as you can see. So the whole point with managing fingers is that you want to take them from being big and you want to make them into a bunch of small fingers. Now, as you can see, that side marker is causing me a bit of, a bit of trouble, but that's fine. We're just taking these fingers, making them a lot smaller. You get some more tack solution behind the film. And we got some fingers over, tiny fingers up top here. We'll just squeegee those down and that's good. Now, all the rest of this solution that's left behind, we can start to push this out over here. So, always wanna make sure your squeegee strokes are overlapping each other, that way you're not leaving any moisture behind underneath the film. That's perfect. Now, I'm gonna pull the film back right here. got our tack solution behind the film and we're just going to start slowly squeegeeing this area down. As you can see we've got all kinds of fingers that are starting to pop up. I'm just pulling the film back and flushing the slip solution out that's behind it and starting to feather these fingers down. That's perfect, that's done. Now what we can do is, actually I'm gonna work on this one up here just a little bit more. We're gonna let this dry out completely before I come back and wrap that. I'll have to do some trimming once I'm done my post heating as well too, but that's perfectly fine. Now we can start working our way around the bumper. All right, so now moving back over, as you can see right here, we have a pretty big finger here and then one there. Um, what I need to do is just pull the film back, get more slip solution behind it, get some on top of the film as well too. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spray my tack solution behind the film now. And I'm going to slowly start taking these fingers and making them far more manageable to deal with, a lot smaller. There we go, that's down, and that's almost perfect. Once we come in there with a the heat gun and we post heat that, that will stay down perfectly fine. Now we can actually start moving over to doing the middle of the bumper and the other side. Okay, now that we're over on the other side, I'm gonna pull the film back. And I'm just spraying my slip solution behind the film. You can hear how much it's starting to stick already. Now we're gonna lay this back down into place and we have to do a slight stretch to get it lined up in place where it needs to be. And that's perfectly fine. So same thing we did on the passenger side. We're gonna start by getting this corner lined up up here. Right there. There we go. And then I'm gonna come down over here that into place right there I'm just drawing a line from the top to the bottom to kind of separate our sections now we're gonna do 
the middle section here. So I'm just going to get more slip solution behind the film. That's exactly what we want. Now I just need to make sure that my alignment is perfect on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to actually gonna do a strip right down the middle. And I'm just using my thumb and my middle finger to make sure that I have proper alignment up top and bottom. And I do. So we're going to get a little bit of tack solution behind the film. I'm going to lock that down there. And then we'll lock everything down here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the passenger side. We're going to start on the very top. And I'm going to pull all of this solution down and out the bottom. So just very lightly, I have my squeegee angle downwards. So all my solution goes down. And I'm just changing angles, going back and forth. These sharp body lines right here, these are notorious for being traps for moisture. So you just want to go a couple more times back and forth over it just to make sure that nothing is left behind. There we go. Now what I can do is I can lift this film up and I can flush out the slip solution that's underneath the film. Just using my thumb to get that film to lay down. Now I'm just coming back with my squeegee to lock that into place. You can see that the film is popping up here a little bit. So I'm just going to get some more tack solution behind the film. And there we go. Now we can start moving over to the driver's side. Okay, now driver's side, we're gonna do the same thing. Make sure our alignment is good. Top and bottom. Just gonna get a little bit of tack solution behind the film over here. Got this top edge down. Now I can start pulling all this solution downwards. Now, same thing I just barely did. I'm just going to take my tack solution and flush out the slip solution that's underneath the film. All right, there we go. Now we can finish off the driver's side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull the film back. Just gonna soap that down. Now, very little stretch necessary to get things lined up up top here. There we go, we got that down. Now I'm going to take and lock this edge down up top.
Perfect. Now, same thing we did on the passenger side, we're gonna stretch that into place. You can see that I'm gonna have pretty big finger to deal with right here, which is fine. There we go, that's good. Now I'll take and start pulling solution over and out. I actually have one piece of contamination right here I gotta pull out. So I'm just gonna peel the film back and just gonna remove that. Get a little bit of silk solution. I'm gonna squeegee this down, make sure it's gone, and it is, that's good. And I'm just gonna reapply tack solution there. That's good. Now, I can flush these fingers out. Another piece of contamination. This is the unfortunate part about this, um, not being pre-cut out, is I'm installing over top of it and it's pulling dirt out from beneath there, which I thought I had it all out, but apparently not. But, we'll do our best to get it. There we go, that's good. Now we're just gonna take and Saw these fingers down. Okay, now we're gonna come back to this section over here. I should take care of this up top. It's the first time I've done one of these bumpers, so I'm getting carried away with myself. Now, So with this big finger over here, I'm gonna start right up top here. And I'm gonna squeegee these fingers down. And like I said earlier in the video, the goal is to take these fingers from big ones to much more tiny little ones that are far easier to deal with. Once you have this part of PPF figured out, you pretty much have the majority of it figured out. As you can see, I got like 12 fingers that are built up right there. go and we'll just get those down around that corner I'll have to let those dry out but once we come in there with the heat gun those will stay down okay main part of the bumper is done next piece that we're going to install is going to be this u-shaped piece over here with the Lamborghini badge all right, so now we're installing this top piece of the rear bumper. So we're gonna start off with the Lamborghini badge and I have to say, I am super, super impressed with how 
this pre-cut template is, the PPF basically just falls right into place. So what I'm gonna do, is gonna lift up the bottom of it, just spray a little bit of tack solution underneath it. And I'm just gonna take and squeegee that all down. Now, what I'm gonna do, now that the bottom is all tacked down, I'm actually gonna come up top here. So this will be a little bit tedious, getting this all squeegee down properly. Super, super satisfying. It's good, we got that squeegee down. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my tack solution and I'm gonna lock down this top edge here. There we go, that's down. Now let's do the driver's side. So I gotta do a bit of a stretch to get it to line up over here. What I'm actually gonna do is get this area lined up by that relief cut. We'll get that relief cut to sit down nice and flat. That is perfect, just like so. We're just gonna squeegee that all down up top there. That's good, we got this little finger to deal with right here. Just got that down. Now, what we're gonna do, spray some tack solution right there. Just gonna stretch that into place. Lock that down. Now, I'm actually going to spray some tax solution. I got my tax solution underneath the film there and got it to sit down nicely. So I'm just going to come around and really get that locked into place. There we go. And this piece right over here, we'll have to lift up the engine lid to get down properly. But what I can do right now is I can just take my squeegee and I can just kind of get it down in there for now. Come back a little bit later and we'll fix that, but let's get the other side down before it dries out. Now to keep it from drying out, I'll just pull it back get more slip solution underneath it. And we're gonna stretch over here to this corner again. We'll line this up. Got that squeegee down, that's good. Got that all laying flat. Now I'm just gonna pull this back. I'm going to flush out the tax, the slip solution that's underneath it. There we go. Now I'm going to get this lined up over here. That's 
good. Now we're going to get this tack down over here. Give that a light stretch to get that lined up. That's good. Now I'm going to spray some hot water tack solution underneath the film. Now I got a bit of a finger problem over here that it's going to be super, super fun to deal with. But we're not going to edit anything out of this part of the video because I'll show you how to deal with it. Nothing to be concerned about. Just take and you just squeegee that down just a little bit. And then we'll, we'll pinch the film, we'll lift it up. And we'll just work that material around and get that material to lay flat. There we go. Now, I'll get this down right here. Lift the film up right here. And just take and get that down behind there. Now, what I'll do after this is I'll go pop the engine cover open. and then I will get that properly installed. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the film back now that we got the engine cover open. And I'm just flushing the slip solution out. I'm actually going to use my finger to make sure the film is down around that corner. And there we go. Do the same thing right over here. And there we go. Now it's time to do all of our post heating and this install is done.
All right, so Lamborghini bumper has been installed. Two piece bumper, lower piece down here, upper piece over here by the Lamborghini badge. Really, really easy bumper to install paint protection film on. As you can see, it's not super complex. Anybody could install PPF on one of these bumpers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more Lamborghini paint protection film content throughout the coming weeks.